what's going on guys another video before the break is over and it's kind of exciting it's kind of maybe i don't know let me know there's not going to be a real estate crash for two to three years it ain't coming and i'm gonna tell you why um during my little break i've been doing some research and you know i'm starting this car business uh i'm starting and i've been watching all these videos and i saw this guy who had a Turo fleet and he was able to sell his Turo fleet in two days then i was watching this car dealer and he was talking about never had they had so many people coming in with five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand dollars put down on cars and I kind of piece some stuff together. First of all, the government prop up ain't gonna stop no time soon. Another form of stimulus is about to start when they start issuing payments to these parents with children. So right now we have a conflux of crazy things that are happening. We have people who are getting stimulus the stimulus is a the stimulus is the reason that this is happening the stimulus is the reason that housing prices are so high the stimulus because if the people who were unable to pay their mortgages those houses were coming onto the market prices would be at an all-time low but they're not and this is something that i feel since we have joe biden in present as as president that they're going to keep the stimulus machine going for the next two, three, next two, three years. Because luxuries, once tasted, become necessities. They have gotten the American people addicted to stimulus. Look at the number of YouTube channels that blew up talking about stimulus. So stimulus ain't going nowhere anytime soon and we're gonna be in this weird, strange economy for two to three years. There will not be a housing crash. Housing prices are not going to go down anytime soon. And when they stop going up, they're gonna stabilize. They're not gonna crash. We're looking at two, three years. We're looking at maybe a six year cycle for marketplace fundamentals to effectively enter the market and start to have ramifications. We're looking at a six to seven year cycle. Six to seven years. And one of the things right now is most people have money. It's Memorial Day Sunday. Traffic is all over Atlanta. I had a renter who got caught up in traffic. People have money. These folks have money. They're spending money. They're taking trips. They're flying around the country. They have stimulus money. And I want you to think, let's say you were someone who didn't get laid off. And let's say you were someone who took advantage of the forbearance program. So now you still have your job because there was no qualifications. All you had to do was just say, hey, I want forbearance and they would give it to you, right? So you're not paying your mortgage. You still have your job and you got a stimulus check. More money, more money, more money. And this is going to end badly, but it's not going to end quickly. So I feel for anyone who is trying to buy a house as a first time homeowner, God bless you. Because what you're seeing now is going to get worse. If you're trying to come in with FHA or VA funding, um, they're saying F you. We want a conventional buyer, we want a cash buyer. And they're here in Georgia, a recently a two million dollar property sold to a cash buyer so what is what this is doing is 
it's resetting real estate. I, I know a girl who got into real estate and she said she got in real estate seven years ago. And she has seen her real estate portfolio 2X in the last 18 months. I know someone who lived in the house that I know for a fact, because they were thinking about selling it, that appraised for 330 before the pandemic. That same house is now 475. 475. And she's like, and the way she has this house is there's a, a built-in apartment in the basement which she was renting for 1500 so for her to sell she's like they wanted to give me 600k and in these two years her house could appreciate from 330 to 600,000 in this crazy crazy like like right now there is so much money in the market I had problem finding an office space. I had to go back to some place where they knew me. Um, real estate prices are inflated. Used car prices are through the roof. Uh, there's a guy I've been following who does Turo. He cannot find a, pr uh, a car priced at a price point he wants to pay for his Turo business. He hasn't bought a car in months. This ain't going nowhere soon. This ain't going nowhere soon. We're going to have this funky, weird, strange economy for about another two years. My, based upon my predictions, based upon my math. And like I said, this is the time to start a business because people have money. People have money. People have money. And a lot of people have a lot of money right now due to the stimulus. So essentially, what you will find yourself in, in the position is if you can find something that these people who have money need, you can make some money right now. A lot of money. I was talking to some business people and every last one of them said last year was the best year they ever had. Last year was the, I kept hearing that, it was the best year for me, best year for another guy who was in roofing, best year for another guy who was in commercial lending best year ever you got a lot of cash buyers you've got so much money in the marketplace so much money in the marketplace and what it is is this money's going to find some place to go it's going to either go into jody's hands or it's going to go into your hands so i'm getting ready to set up some stuff where I can get some some of this money. Because the money is, like I said, I, I will, I'm almost willing to bet a kidney that we're gonna see another stimulus package before Christmas out of this democratic um, politic, political body we have. Because here's the thing, you cannot give a person this kind of money for months in months and months and months and months and months and for it not to have an impact for it not to have an in, impact so we've got a certain segment of the economy that is devolving to the socialist sect they're going to get this government money they're going to you thought the rioting that the GOP did on the capitol was intense let these people not get their money They've been put on the government titty. I'm gonna give you an analogy. Remember what happened to the black community once government money came in? Tell you something. White women had a higher out of wedlock birth in the 50s and 60s than black women. The black family was strong, it was intact. Black women had morals, black men respected women. And then we introduced government money we introduced if you kick that man out the house we will give you a check we'll give you a place to stay we will give you food stamps and we'll give you medical care what did that do to the black community it tore the black community apart it completely obliterated the nuclear black family 
This is what happens when government money comes into play. So what you're going to see and what you're going to hear is a lot of like no one no one talks about this, but white women have a higher out of wedlock birth than any other group of women in America. And no one talks about it because they're white women. There are so many white women I've run across who are in their 30s, who had kids, never been married, tons and tons of them. So what we're going to see is the moral decay. Well, it's already here. And what you're going to see in white families is the same social ills that plagued black families. And you're going to start to see poor whites go, they're already doing the same thing that poor blacks. There, There is no difference in pathology when you are poor black, poor white. There is no difference. So you're going to see the same behaviors. You're going to see the same crap. And what's going to emerge out of this is a new technology-driven class of citizen. I am part of the technology class. Technology is what put me over the top. And you're going to see more people join my ranks. You're going to see more people become part of the technology class. You're going to see more people uh, take advantage of what's coming. And what's coming is going to be deep. What is coming is going to be substantial. So if you're sitting on your hands thinking about starting a business, stop thinking about it. Do it. Because for the next two years, there's going to be a lot of money floating around in the system. We're going to have inflation. We've already seen inflation with housing prices. We've seen inflation with the construction materials for housing. We've seen inflation with the used car market. We've seen inflation with new cars. We've seen inflation with gasoline. So we're going to be in an inflationary state where we're going to have people who are going to have to spend more money. So to make yourself immune from this, you want to put yourself in a position where you can have more money coming in. More money coming in. Because I feel that this message is important because there's a lot of people who kind of have their head in the sand and they're just thinking like, oh, well, I'm, I'm telling you, people have money. And the stimulus is the reason. The stimulus money is the reason that so many people have money and will continue to have money. Like I said, Housing ain't going to crash no time soon. Um, earlier on, I was thinking that we we're going to see a crash. Um, 2022, 2023. Mm -mm. Nope. There's too much money in the system. There's too much money in the system. There's too many people who will pay 30, 40, um, 50 above asking to get into this real estate. There ain't gonna be no crash. We're gonna be in this weird, funky economy for two to three years until, and if the Democrats stay in power, we could be here longer. I want you to think about that because um, right now, I met a young man today and his mother started a catering business. People have money. People have more money than they know what to do with. And this is going to create this frenzy because when you give people who are not used to having money, what are they gonna do? They're gonna spend it. And this right now in this economy, we have people with a lot of money and they're looking for places to park that money it might as well be your pocket I'm about to give me some more money I just started a new business and I'm gonna start another new business because we're gonna be here we're not gonna have a normal economy 
until this stimulus stops. Look at what happened to the stock market during the early part of the pandemic. It went down for like maybe a month, then it popped right back up. Stimulus. That was the Fed. That was the Fed. So what we're going to see is this strange, we're going to see this weird, uh, unprecedented market. But here's the thing. For those who are willing to roll up their sleeves and willing to open up businesses and be of service to people, there's money for you. There's a lot of money for you. Um, let me go ahead and give you a little update because I'm going to probably do these as special standalone videos. Like, Turo wasn't working for me. And since I'm waiting on the titles for these vehicles, I decided to put the Porsche, the BMW, and the Range Rovers on Turo. Less than 12 hours after putting those vehicles on Toro, they were all rented out. They were all rented out. And then I got a month long rental for the Range Rover that sat on Toro for two, almost three weeks without a rental. 1600 bucks, boom, just like that. And my expectations is these vehicles are going to stay out on higher car than they are from Turo. And who are people renting, you know, because essentially higher car was designed to rent cars to Uber and Lyft drivers. That's not the only people who use higher car. Um, I got, I rented a car this morning to a guy. He does Uber Eats. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't pick up passengers. So Uber Eats, Instacart drivers can make 13, 1500 bucks a week driving food around. If you are willing to work, you can make money. If you're willing to work right now, whatever you want to do, you can make money. There is no excuse for no one not to have any money in this current economic cycle. There ain't no excuse. If you don't have no money, it's because you don't want any. That's pretty much what it is. Uber, Lyft, are having campaigns, Uber and look, $500 sign on bonuses, all kinds of specials and perks. Essentially, if you don't have any money right now, it's because you don't want any money. Because it is out here, it is out here waiting to hop in your pocket if you're willing to do work. If you're willing to do work, if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and go to work, there is mad mad money out here for you and it's very interesting because uh, i'm getting ready to start maybe three businesses uh, as i get get them all shaped up because i'm still i, I just kind of found my footing with the rental car business because i took a few l's um essentially the bmw the range rovers and the porsche uh someone's got the porsche week rental and he's renewed it. He's going to keep that Porsche minimum two weeks. So people got money. People got money. Do you have what they want? Is the question. I'm getting ready to redo everything. I'm getting ready to go into a serious business mode because people have money. People got a lot of money. They don't know what to do with it. I'm about to help him spend some of it. I'm about to help him spend a lot of it. I'm about to get me some M's. You know, since this last year, the first year I made multiple M's, I, it's kind of addictive. I want to I wanna do that again. Uh, it slowed up, but now that I'm starting other businesses, um, I'm going to get back in that seat, get back to that level. And also, you know, as I've been sitting here thinking, um, let's just have this conversation. Y'all are grown. I am going to stop trying to warn you about bad things. I said Bitcoin was going to crash. It crashed. It doesn't matter. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do. So I'm going to stop um, talking about that. 
I'm going to stop trying to educate the perpetually ignorant and the moist men. The moist men who are narcissists. They're 100% narcissists. And they're living, they're a legend in their own mind. They have no outward accomplishments. They've not built anything. They've never done anything. Yet they feel that they're great because um, I, one thing I'm pretty much going to continue to do, if you think you're smarter than me, I'm going to show ask you to prove that you're smarter than me. Because smarter than me means you make more money than me. That, that would be a logical assumption. And I'll, I'll do that. But I'm getting ready to leave the cryptocurrency alone because y'all be y'all so butthurt. He talking about my cryptocurrency. He pissing on my dreams, man. I want to spend five hundred dollars on some Bitcoin and become a millionaire. Y'all get emotional about Bitcoin. That tells me that you're not even nowhere near logical with that. So we're gonna stop talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and the. The channel is going to have a hundred percent business focus. Uh, like I've stayed away from Kevin Samuels and uh, the Kwame Browns and all this other stuff that I see other black business YouTube channels devolving into the social aspects of the. I'm, I'm going to continue to stay away from that stuff. Um, channel may get a little boring. Uh, I'm going to be talking about business topics making money, building businesses, business credit in the state of the economy. Like the video like this one, there'll be more of these because this weird, funky, strange economy that we have, it ain't going nowhere no time soon. It ain't going nowhere, no no time soon. We, we're looking at minimum two years of this and we may see a house that went for 300,000 before the pandemic in year two, going on year, this same house may appreciate the 600,000. I feel for anyone who is a first time buyer trying to navigate this mess. You can have good credit, you can have some money in the bank. Question is, do you have enough money in the bank? Because these sellers are ruthless right now. No concessions. I ain't paying for nothing. If you don't come correct, don't come at all. This is what these sellers are saying. And you want to know why? The sellers right now are the pretty girls at the dance. They can dictate how this goes down. And if you don't want to play by their rules, you don't get to play. It's just that simple. You've got a multitude of cash buyers coming out of New York, California, Seattle, Washington, Outside the United States, you got a lot of international cash buyers coming in and they're flooding these areas where the locals are used to cheap real estate and they're blowing it up. Nashville was already ridiculous before the pandemic. It is stupid up there in Nashville right now. It is stupid in Las Vegas right now. It is stupid in Phoenix right now. What do we see? Better climate. Florida is stupid. Uh, man, I almost moved to Florida. I don't even think I told y'all that. And if I had moved to Florida, I would have moved to Florida about two years ago. So I didn't do that. But there ain't no way that I am moving at the moment. I'm not moving. Not during this mess. Now, for me... My price point, there's still deals. I see it on Zillow every day. I saw a house, they dropped the price 150,000. So at this price point, there still can be deals had, there still can be concessions and stuff like that going down. But um, if you're under 500,000, God bless you. God bless you. You're in the dog fight. You're gonna be in a dog fight. You can have good credit, you can have some money saved. The question is, do you have enough money saved? And this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna stop no time soon. This is not, this is gonna go on, in my estimation, for the next two years. 
you're going to see some of these homes reach crazy prices. And then, depending on when real marketplace fundamentals, because here's something else too, and I want you to think about this. Let's say the Democratic Party that's in place does a legal maneuver to protect all of these homeowners who are in forbearance, and they write legislation compelling the mortgage company to put the payments to the back end of the mortgage. Guess what? The real estate market ain't gonna never crash. It ain't gonna never crash. You're never gonna see these juicy prices. So right now, we have massive market manipulation across the board where real fundamentals don't matter. And right now, one of the issues you have, like I almost uh, ordered the new Porsche. I was gonna order the convertible. And you know what they told me this? Like I was looking at a year because they can't get the parts for the car. They can't get the chips. And it said, if I placed an order, I was looking at more like a year to 14 months to get the car when allocation came. This is a $220,000 car and they can't build them fast enough. They can't build them fast enough. Whatever they built, it's gone, it's gone. Right now, do me a favor, go to Car Gurus or any other car website and put in 911s and see how many you find. You can't find them. And this is going <clears throat> to keep going on because people have money. They have money. This is the time to start your business. This is the time to get in the game because people have money and it's going to be like this for two years. Do not be shocked to see some form of universal basic income be deployed. Don't be shocked if that happens. And if Congress does this move to protect all of these homeowners who are in forbearance, compelling the mortgage companies to put those loans, those payments, because we get up to 24 months, you have not paid your mortgage? We're talking 30, 50, 60 thousand dollars. There ain't no way that that many people could come up with that kind of money. They ain't gonna come up with it. So we're in the get over economy and we're in, for the first time ever, the American public is being bailed out, except for student loans. Joe Joe Biden got y'all with that. Joe Biden was like, Joe, Joe Biden like, ha ha, psych. You still gotta pay those student loans. But for the first time, the American people are actually being bailed out. Strange as that may seem. But once again, go ahead, start your business, get your ducats together. And once again, you're in my prayers if you're trying to buy a house in this mess because you're at war. You're at war right now. It, it ain't gonna get any easier and it's going to be hard and difficult for a while. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, I may end my little break a little earlier. I'm feeling better. I have a better direction where I wanna go with the channel. So we will see. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.